Namaste everyone and what's up? This is the fourth video tutorial on the getting started with Arduino without having a physical Arduino board. My name is Anrag and you can search me on the internet as Eagle Anrag and also on social media. So uh, this is the fourth video tutorial and we are talking about learning Arduino without having it in a, a physically availability. Yes, it is possible you can make your own projects on online you can simulate them you can see what is the output in the unreal world you can do that let's see how it is possible <laughs> so uh, today we will talk about the analog spins in the arduino analog input output uh, which is uh, just right side of the power port in the arduino uno if i am right yes i'm right <laughs> Just joking. So uh, today we will talk about analog pins and the things related to the analog pins. I'm not going in that brief. I will not elaborate everything in brief, right? Because this video is dedicated to the guys who only want to create some projects for uh, science fairs or anything, you know, hobby as a hobby or whatever. So I'm not going in brief because uh, maybe there are people who are not engineering students. Then, then they, how could they understand those? Those factors in the engineering electrical and electronics so if you are engineering student then no problem if you're not then also not problem let's see what is happening here and what is possibility so here is a Tinkercad wo workspace you know you, this is a web enabled app uh, in which you can simulate your Arduino and in not only Arduino you can also simulate the circuit and uh, you can all, uh, also simulate the components which are available on the Tinkercad. So if you don't know what is Tinkercad and how to use it, then you are suggested to click on the screen, the right side of the screen, there is a high button and uh, go through, watch all the videos and the playlist and just, you know, have fun. So right now we are going to rename this particular uh, Yes, so that's it. We will click on outside and the name will be changed soon. Oh, Ooh. Ah, what the f so uh, what we need to do at first is we need to click over here on the components and we have to select all and uh, we will go down, 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 down. We'll search the Arduino. Where are you, Arduino? Where are you? Oh, he is here. Why are you running? So just click on this and uh, you know just drag it on the screen in the arduino in the analog section of the arduino what is uh, important it is ad converters so why the analog in is possible with the arduino uno as we know the chip uh, over here which is at omega 328 so this chip uh, the name of the chip is at mega 328 and it is a avr chip it belongs to the avr family of the microcontroller and what is that family you do not need to know a lot about avr if you are not an engineering student just remember that this chip belongs to the avr it is a avr microcontroller and this chip just known as a microcontroller and because it is micro and it controls everything <laughs> so it is microcontroller and uh, what is the number of this name just as like my name is Androg and uh, some name is Sam, Harry, Peter or whatever. So the name of this chip is Atmega 3284P. Brief. Blah, 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 blah. So we are, was uh, talking about the AD converters. So we know this is the digital processing unit. It works on 0 and 1. So analog signals came in the sinusoidal waves, right? The analog signals have the sine wave and they are just uh, having some amplitudes but we know that these type of semiconductor works on digital 1010101010 so how it is possible that we can uh, provide an analog output and pro uh, we can uh, work on analog input also so how is it possible that is possible with the ad converter what is the ad converter is actually it is ad stand for the analog to digital converter right if you if we are providing an analog input to a particular microcontroller so it consists of uh, things which is called analog to digital converter 
so if we are providing a sinusoidal wave maybe just say a uh, analog voltage so if we are providing an analog voltage on these pins so it can translate it into a digital language and the microcontroller will process all the data and it will work according to the coding over here so if we coded anything like uh, if it is uh, if the a0 pin have uh, one voltage right so do something then hit the harry <laughs> hit on the head of the harry right so uh, and uh, as like if we, you get the two volts over here just kill someone oh sorry don't kill anyone so things go uh, goes like that all, all the ad converters do so let's read some boring stuff which is ad converters right so in arduino uno it contains six channel ad converter one two three four five six a0 to A5. So the naming as like A0 to A5. A0 is the first channel, two channel, three channel, four channel, five channel, six channels. Like and the eight channels on the Arduino Nano, which is on your screen, and the eight channel on the Arduino Mini, which is also on the screen. These six channels. Yes. As we know, the function of this analog is uh, basically is to read the analog sensor. Yes. Now I got what. Actually, it was. And the analog pins, uh, these analog pins, these six particular levers, oh, sorry, pins, <laughs> these particular six pins have the functionality to change, change themselves. Oh my God, they can transform themselves from analog to digital. How it is possible? Oh my God, they could be also used as a digital input output pins. Whoa. All you need to do, you have to write, uh, you know, some things in the code and you can use this pin as digital input output. Oh my God, I am loving it right now. Consequently, if a user need more general pump of input, right? If uh, all these uh, 13 input outputs, sorry, 14, I mean 0 to 13. If these into input outputs are uh, less for particular work, like we are connecting LCD and all these are full. So we can use these analog pins as a GPIO, general purpose input output pins. Yes. And uh, AD is finished. The AD converter topic is finished. So let's come to the another topic, which is pin mapping. The analog pin can be used identically to the digital pins using the alias A0, and a1 for example the code would look like this to set the analog pin 0 to an output and to set it high so what i am saying right now you can see on the screen a particular code which consists of a particular thing which have something like you know pin mode a0 comma output digital write a0 comma high so we are defining particular pin as an output and we are writing a0 high it means we are providing a high data which is digital data one and zero high stand for one low stand for the zero and we are providing uh, the high data from this pin as well as analog data also we can also provide analog data also from this pin oh yeah so this is also finished let's come to the pull up resistors the analog pins also have the pull up resistors which works identically to pull up the register on the digital pins so if you don't know about what the pull up shit is uh, actually is oops sorry so if you don't know what actually pull up is actually in uh, any circuit in any microcontroller in any unit in any in any in any in any, in any. so just see the screen and look out these the circuit diagrams which are available on the screen right now and you can understand what actually it is it is just pulling up the line voltage to a specific level so that's why they are known as a pull-up resistor if then also you are not getting what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say so just click on the above i button and go through the basic of electrical and electronics videos watch all the videos or if you want to only know about the pull-up resistor just go through with it and see what actually pull-up is and come to back to the pull-up resistor in analog pins of that we know yes 
So analog pins also have the pull up resistors which works identically to pull up the resistors on the digital pins. So as we know the digital pins have the pull up resistor so the analog pin also have the pull up resistor. They can be enabled by issuing a command such as pin mode A0 input pull up right. Uh, but there is a thing uh, we have to consider that turning on a pull up will affect the value by analog read. So if the value if you, if you have just assigned a pull up resistor on a particular analog pins maybe A0 to A5 then what will happen there that it will affect the input coming from out source uh, which is in analog format. Why it will affect you can uh, understand it by uh, you are just pulling up the line voltage initially you are pulling up a line voltage and you are providing an external data so probably it will affect right yes it will affect so let's come to some notes and kivits the analog read command will not work correctly if a pin has been previously set to an output oh output so if this is the case set it back to an input before using analog read Okay, so what uh, you have to do if uh, the pin is previously set to the output, right? If we, if we define the A0 as a output, then you have to define it uh, as a input before providing it a input data. So initially what we do, actually we do not write anything about that. Key this is a, a, a input pin or output pin right so but if you are getting a data or writing a data with it and then you want to accept a data on a particular pin then you have to write you have to you have to write that this is the input pin yes so similarly if the pin has been too high as in a output the pull up resistor will be set when the switch back to an input okay okay so we uh, now got what is uh, the analog uh, pins and what are the factors uh, related to the analog input in the Arduino let's have an example uh, about how we can uh, understand uh, analog input more briefly right so just remove this Arduino because we do not want any Arduino Let's remove it and add, go to the all starters and go to here, 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 okay, 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 okay. So this is the analog read serial, okay. We are just putting this particular project on our workspace. So this project is workspace right now. We will see the code. We will switch to the text and uh, let's see. It is written over here, analog read serial, read and analog inputs potentiometer. This is, this stuff over here is called potentiometer on pin zero because the output of the potentiometer is connected to the A0 so that's why it, it is written open the serial monitor which is oops which is over here and attach the center pin of the potentiometer to the pin A0 and outside pin to the 5 volt okay one is to 5 volt one is to ground and another is A0 example code is in the public domain okay thank you initialize sensor value to the 0 okay so we are defining a variable as a sensor value uh, to a 0 then void setup as we need a setup code the pin mode a0 we are setting it at as a input serial begin 9600 what is this uh, actually we are initiating this serial monitor by writing particular this code serial dot begin at 9600 baud rate so this is the baud rate over here at which we are going to start this particular serial monitor so it will uh, provide us the data on this baud rate yes if you want to know more about this then watch the basic of electrical and electronics and you will probably get about what is the pod rate and why serial monitor actually needs pod rate to work to provide us the data yes okay so in the void loop there is a sensor value is equal to analog read so this sensor value uh, previously set to the zero now it contains some more than zero which is analog read on the pin a0 so we are providing a data and it is going to be equals to the sensor value and uh, that value will be printed on the serial print ln it means the you have we can print by using this code we can print a particular line with having particular value and the delay 10 delay 10 means after doing both of these 
it will wait for 10 millisecond and then again it will run so after 10 millisecond we will uh, get uh, another new data we will get another 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 new data so let's see how it is possible start the simulation and open the serial monitor so you can see the 0000000000 is running 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 00000 so why the zero is there just change it oh my god the value is changing right now you can see the maximum is 1023 so as i mentioned that the particular pin have the 10 bit resolution okay so the default analog read resolution for all these uh, Arduino board is 10 bits, right? And we can change it also that on the 12 bits, but we are not going that in the that brief right now. Uh, actually, initially it is the 10 bit and 10 bit resolution actually vary from 0 to 1023. So initially it is 0 and now it is 1023. 0, 1023. So uh, interesting stuff I am seeing right now that it actually have the 10 bit resolution and initially it is set to the 10 bit resolution but we can change it but we, I am not going to change it right now because there is no need of that particular thing. So this is uh, what actually analog pins do and just as like we are providing a data we can also get the analog output from these all these pins and uh, we can do lot of other stuff so i hope you got what actually arduino you know and what actually uh, <clears throat> so i hope you got the analog in or analog input output or analog port or information about the analog port in the arduino you know don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed because i enjoyed a lot creating all these videos and don't forget to give thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will get notified whenever i post new video by clicking on the bell icon and connect with me on the social media because i do lot of scary stuff there come and join me goodbye see you next time namaste